ABC called me and said, uh, Roy, we want uh, you to come up with another series. And he says, I'm calling Bill Orr and asking for a meeting with Bill, and I'm going to tell Bill I want you there. I said, well, thank you very much. This was uh, Bob, I um, forgot his name. He died a few years ago. Um, but anyway, he was head of uh, programming out here. Um, and sure enough, the meeting was called, and Bill Orr invited me in. And I had already come up with the, the idea for Maverick based on the, uh, the uh, cold feeling I had about Cheyenne. You know, because to me, it was just a routine Western. Even though I tried, you know, I tried to tell adult stories, but I was t still telling stories about a Western hero. And I kept saying to my close friends, but I wanted to do a series about a guy who was not a Western hero. The kind, you know, if anyone had run up to, if some pretty girl had run up to Cheyenne and said, oh, I need help, he would have said, what do you need? I wanted a guy who, if a woman ran up, a pretty woman ran up to him and said, I need help, he would say, the sheriff's office is right over there. Or if someone came in running into the saloon and said, hey, uh, so-and-so, uh, Mike Slade is out uh, there looking for you. Now, Cheyenne would check his holster and walk out to meet Mike Slade. Cheyenne would go out the rear window. And I said, that's the kind of Western I want to do. I mean, Maverick would go out the rear window. I mean, window. My, Maverick would go out the rear window. And I said, I want to do that kind. Now, that's what I said when I met with uh, Bob from ABC, whose name, I'm so sorry, I forgot, because I liked him, uh, and, and uh, Bill Orr and Hugh Benson, who had come in as his assistant. They, the four, oh, and a, a man, it, their story editor was there too, a man named Jack Emanuel. And I said, here's what I want to do. And I told him. I told Bob. Uh, and he loved it. He said, oh my God, we want it. We want it. I said, fine. I'll come up with a story and make a pilot. And uh, shortly thereafter, I came up with a title so we could start. Because, you know, you need a title. It's like a, a How'd handle. How'd you come up with Maverick? Huh? How'd you come up with Maverick? Because he was a maverick. You know, was, you know the word maverick existed mm -hmm. and had meaning before I came up with a title for the show. A maverick was a, a, a nonconformist. So I came up with, it was now called Maverick. There's, I have a letter from the legal department saying that I invented maverick. Uh, it wasn't called that at the time, but that the thing I said that day was maverick. It wasn't, the memo wasn't sent to me. Was sent to Bill Orr. But somehow or other, I got a copy of it. Someone may have stolen it and given it to me. But anyway, the legal department at, at uh, Warner's uh, memorized the fact that on that date, I came up with a show which was later called Maverick. So there was no one saying, now wait a minute, we can't have a hero oh, who sure. runs out the back well, door. And yeah, they did. They did. As soon as I, I came up with a story called Point Blank. Had some other title at the time. And they read it and said, Roy, we can't. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This has two answers. One, I came up with this story, point blank, which was about the real Maverick, a guy who turns in a girl he's fallen in love with for the reward. And it makes the sheriff so angry that this guy, who the girl had fallen in love with, would accept a reward for turning her in. That he said, uh, he says, I want you out of this town in five minutes. And Maverick says, I've gotten out of this of town's this size in two and a half minutes. <laughs> well, where's that effect? Anyway, uh, Bill Orr asked me to come in. and says, Roy, we can't use that script you wrote. I didn't write it. I wrote the story and had Howard Brown, who had saved my life on, on my first novel, write the script. And uh, I, I said, why can't you use it? He says, because if we use it, you will have royalties. And J.L. Warner gave me instructions that if I ever did anything that would give a writer a royalty on a series they were doing, I would be fired. He says, so we can't use it. He says, the way, only way we can do a, a, a series with you is if you have based your, ser your, your pilot on something we already owned. So that's what you have to do, otherwise we're not going to make it. And I said, Bill... ABC has already said they want it. Are you telling me that 
to avoid paying me, what is the royalty now, $500 an episode? To avoid paying me $500 an episode that you're going to th th deny ABC, a series that they have expressed this tremendous enthusiasm for? And he says, Roy, I have to. JL isn't going to listen to what you just said. He's going to say no. He's going to, the answer from JL would be, absolutely, that's right. We won't use that. And, and I knew that Bill was in a spot. So I said, okay, Bill, I'll try to find something you already own. And I started going through there. And then I suddenly real, realized that they owned uh, a book called The War of the Copper Kings, which was just a history of an episode in the, uh, in the career of Anaconda Copper, in which a con man had used an old, obsolete law to force Anaconda to pay him probably millions. And uh, I said, this is it, this guy, <laughs> that's Maverick. But I had to, you know, I had to bring the whole thing down. This was on a big corporate level. So I had to bring the whole thing down to a local, you know, to a local mine and use, but use that obsolete law, uh, which was that if you find a vein and it leads you into somebody else's vein, it's still your vein. And what was the network reaction to it? Well, they wouldn't, uh, between, uh, I think it was someone on Bill Orr's staff that argued with Bill and said, he can't keep the money, Bill. You can't let him keep the money. I mean, that's not, that will never work. And Bill said to me those words. And I said, Bill, for God's sake, I'm doing a series about a guy who would keep the money. That's why he's doing it. And Bill says, Roy, look, just this one time, just this is the pilot, please. Let him give the money to those other poor schmucks who were mining. And I said, well, Bill, it, it isn't Maverick, but uh, if, you, if you feel that we won't get it made unless I make that change, I'll make the change. And I did. 